Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all will be doing okay. So today I have something special to share with you. So recently I got my hands on this tiny yet powerful DRV8833 motor driver which could help us to create DIY robot RC car on a single PCB with all the components very easily. So before I waste any more further time of yours, let's get into the action. Hi guys, this video is brought to you by PCBGoGo.com a manufacturer of good quality professional PCBs. They can offer a turnkey PCB assembly service at a cost effective price. And they offer component sourcing as well. Their PCB capabilities are wider than common manufacturers and their professional engineers and sales representatives can help you meet your requirements. So please visit the link provided in description and get your professional PCBs from PCBGoGo.com. Now coming back to our DRV8833 motor driver. So before I tell you about this driver, let me give a little bit of backstory. So in last few years, I have seen a lot of people on YouTube make DIY RC robot car on a single PCB. So I wanted to try that out because I have tried to make a robot car by connecting all the components and it was messy. So then I thought let's make a RC robot car on a single PCB to avoid complexity. And I wanted to use very basic module and components. I searched on the internet to get some ideas. But most of them uses complex PCBs or some different kind of motors. And all of those are either costly or not easy to find. So I thought of making my RC robot car PCB. And the basic components I wanted to use is an Arduino, a Bluetooth module, a motor driver, BO motors and a battery for power. But these are not the best components to make your RC robot car on a single PCB. So I replaced Arduino Uno with Arduino Nano. Well, Bluetooth module will work on PCB easily. Then instead of this battery, I am gonna use this 18650 battery holders which can be easily attached on the PCB. And I will keep using my BO motors because they are easy to find. So we sorted out all those components for this project. Now the only issue left is motor driver. It can't fit on a PCB. So we have an option to use L293D motor driver IC. But they lack in terms of power. So that's where our DRV8833 comes into the picture. It is small, it got pin headers and it can handle enough power to get the job done. So let's take a look at DRV8833 motor driver module. So this motor driver is introduced by Texas Instruments. I bought it in India for rupees 100. And you can buy it for around 1 to 2 dollars. So it's pretty cheap. It can work on 2.7 volts to 10.8 volts. So you can use it for 3 volt motors as well. And it can output around 1.5 ampere current per motor and 2 ampere peak current. 
and it is compatible with 3 volt and 5 volt logic level and like all motor drivers out there it got 2 H bridge to run two motors separately. Now about the pins on this motor driver we have total 12 pins. Four of them are used for input and four of them are used for output for two DC motors. And we have two pins for VCC and ground for power. Now we have a ULT pin which is low in fault conditions. And I am not gonna use the ULT pin in our project. And the last pin is very important and it is EEP. And it enables the motor driver. So either you should short circuit the shown jumper or you can pull the EEP pin to high. So we will pull the EEP pin to high. Now we got our basics cleared. Let me set it up on the breadboard to test it. So I'll be connecting both motors on output 1, 2, 3 and 4. And IN1 and IN2 will be going to pin 5 and pin 6 on Arduino. And IN3 and IN4 will be going to pin 9 and pin 10 on Arduino. And VCC and ground pins will be connected to VCC and ground pin on Arduino. And last but not the least, EEP pin will be connected to pin D2 on Arduino. And I have uploaded a very basic sketch for motor driver into Arduino, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can download it from the description. So after this, you can see our motor driver is working perfectly. Now I need to put it together on a PCB. So I have designed this PCB and added these 18650 battery holders so that this project will remain compact and everything will be on a single PCB. So let's connect everything together and test out the PCB. So I have connected everything together and as you can see that it's all working fine as usual. So our motor driver is working as expected. And this empty slot on the PCB is for Bluetooth module, which we will discuss in the part 2 of this project. Now for you, I have designed a professional PCB for this project, so that you can order the PCBs from PCBGoGo.com. You can visit their website, put your PCB specifications and details and then upload your Gerbo files and do the payment and you will receive your PCBs. So I think I have explained the working of our new motor driver and why it is a good fit for our DIY RC robot car project on a single PCB. So in our next video we will connect SC05 on the PCB and we will put all this together. And we will complete our DIY RC robot car project. So if you have any questions, let me know those in comment section. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring and stay safe.